Welcome! In front of me I have Honor Watch GS Pro and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on uh, our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the upper button. And once you hold it for a couple of seconds, you will see the Honor logo on the screen. And once you see the Honor logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. And after the watch turns on, you probably will see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. You can find the language you would like to use on your watch. And once you find it, you can tap on it to select it. And after you select the language, you will see that we need to download and install the Huawei Health application. And this part is a bit tricky because we can't go just to uh, just open the Play Store on our phone and download the Huawei Health application because uh, I believe the application, the Huawei Health from Play Store will be outdated and, and it might not work with your watch. So what we need to do is to download the uh, Huawei app gallery and then use it to download the Huawei Health application. And to download the Huawei uh, app gallery, we need to open the browser. Uh, but first, uh, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the browser, browser on your phone. It can be any web browser. I'm gonna open uh, Google Chrome. In the browser, open a new tab, tap on search and type in app gallery dot, uh, dot Huawei dot com and then tap uh, on search or enter. And it should bring you to this page, App Gallery page. And here we have uh, this button in the top uh, left corner. Oh, my bad. This button right here. And we need to tap on it. Tap on Install App Gallery. And it will prompt the download of the app. Tap on Download. You will see the file uh, being downloaded. And once it's done, you will probably see the pop-up on the screen that the file is done downloading. And you can tap on Open. And if you see this pop-up on the screen, tap on Settings, it will redirect you to install unknown apps. And basically we need to allow uh, Chrome to install the apps from unknown sources. So tap on the switch, tap on, uh, I have update because I already have the app installed, but uh, normally you will see the install button and wait until the app gallery is done installing. And once it's done, you can tap on Open. And here we have our Huawei uh, App Gallery. Now, in the App Gallery, we need to tap on Search, type in uh, Huawei Health, and tap on Search. And you should see this application at the top, Huawei Health, and next to it, you should see the uh, Install uh, button. Tap on the Install button, if you see this pop up on the screen, we, still, we again need to allow the installation from unknown sources. So we need to tap on settings, tap on the switch, go back to the app, tap on install again, and it's going to start uh, downloading as you can see. When you see this pop up, tap on install, and let's wait until it's done installing. And once the application is done installing, you will see the open button and we can tap on it to open the Huawei Health. Here we need to select the service region. Uh, basically, you can tap on here and scroll through the list, find the region you want to use and then uh, tap on it to select it. I'm going to select the United Kingdom. Then we can tap on next, next, agree. And you can allow or deny the permission for the physical activity. I'm going to allow it. And now you should see the health page of the app. Tap on devices. Tap on add device. Allow the permission. And as you can see, the app detected our GS Pro Watch. Tap on connect. And probably you will be asked to log in into a Huawei account. As you can see. So let's log in. Give me a couple seconds. Sorry, it took so long. I had to uh, get, uh, I was waiting for a code on my email address to enter the code to confirm the 
log in. Okay, and after you log in, it will redirect you back to the uh, health page, I believe. Yes, we need to tap on devices again, tap on add device, wait until the app detects our watch, tap on connect. Tap on agree. Allow or deny the permission for calls if you want to. Then tap on pair. Tap on the check mark on the watch to confirm the pairing. You can check the boxes to allow the updates over the uh, Wi Fi auto updates basically. If you want to uh, do that and not bother with checking for the updates manually, you can check the boxes, then tap on continue. Here uh, you can tap on done tap on continue and right here we can enable the phone notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you don't care you can tap on cancel and skip it. If you want to enable them tap on enable. It will redirect you to this page and device and app notifications. You need to find the Huawei Health app on the list. Tap on it. Tap on the allow notification access next to or rather tap on the switch next to allow notification access. My bad. Tap on allow then go back to the Huawei Health application. And you will see that the notifications are enabled now and you can enable the notifications for certain apps. Of course, you can also disable them if you like to. Okay, and once you've done, tap on uh, done, tap on OK. And here uh, you can allow or deny the permission for the phone calls, logs, contacts and stuff like that. This is useful for notifications. Um, if you don't want to use them, you can deny the permissions. Okay, and at this point you should see your watch on the device page. Here we have it. And you should be able to use it as well. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.